Artnet is one of two support protocols for sending and receiving DMX data over a network. It is the session master that outputs the network DMX. The visual feedback regarding sending or receiving network data can look differently on the stations in the session, so it should be viewed and changed on the master station to see the actual input and output status. GrandMA3 supports Artnet 4 and is configured in the Artnet menu found here in the DMX protocols area. You will need genuine hardware to provide parameters for outputting network DMX. If you are using on PC, this can include a command wing. If you're not sure how many parameters you have access to, check out our video on understanding parameters from earlier in the series. Now let me walk you through an Artnet example. Fixtures are connected to the Artnet nodes at stage with the node connected via Ethernet port 1 and set to receive Artnet data from the Grand MA3. The Artnet node has been set up to receive Artnet starting from Universe 11. Because of this, Universe 1 on the Grand MA3 needs to be directed at Artnet Universe 11. From the main menu found in the DMX protocols area, the console defaults to the Artnet tab. Swap from the Artnet to the ACN tab here on the left for a moment. If you're not planning on outputting streaming ACN, ensure the ACN output is disabled in this configuration tab before moving on. Back to the Artnet tab. Starting here, enabled equals yes, because we want to output Artnet. Mode, auto is fine. The other options are broadcast, unicast and input. Broadcast delivers all data to all devices without exclusion. This is also known as one to all. Unicast uses a device's unique IP address to deliver specific data. This can be referred to sometimes as one to one. Artnet is capable of broadcast and unicast while SACN is capable of unicast and multicast. So where were we? Local universe one, because we are patched on universes one through five. The amount is five because there are five universes in the patch to transmit. This is the critical one in the setup. Artnet Absolute is going to be 11 because our node listens for Artnet data on universe 11. Once you're configured here, ensure that you are outputting to the correct Ethernet adapter and then tap Enable Output. It should look something like this. If your station is not connected to other stations or nodes in a session, it is an idle master. If your station is the idle master and needs to output Artnet data in a setup like this, you need to make sure the send Artnet if idle master is turned on. If your station is in a network session with other stations, it's the global master that transmits the Artnet data. So make sure the nodes are on a network that can access the global master. If you're not seeing the data, the first place you should start is the network addresses. Most Artnet devices will use what is referred to as a class A IP address scheme in the range 2.x.y.z. So a typical Artnet address might be something like 2.0.0.1. This allows Artnet products to communicate directly without the need for a DHCP server to be present on the network. However, other IP addresses like 10.x.y.z are perfectly legitimate. Need help changing your IP address? Don't worry, I've got you covered. Take a look at the video on IP addressing. I get asked all the time about this one. This is the preferred IP address button. It's a place where the preferred IP address that is being used by one of the console's network adapters can be defined, and it's tied to the auto mode of the interface option. Setting the interface option to auto allows the console to look at the value entered here in the preferred IP and select the interface to use. If Ethernet Connector 2 has been set up with the IP address 2.0.0.1 and the preferred IP in the Rnet window is set in the 2 dot range, when I set my interface to auto, the console is going to look to Ethernet port 2 as the preferred Ethernet port for Rnet. I hope this has helped cover most of your questions that you might have had about the Rnet window.